Today we're with John Kelly. Uh, John Kelly is a personal injury attorney in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, he's agreed to answer a question for us related to slip and fall. Um, if you are in a situation where you're looking for a personal injury attorney and obviously you're looking online, one of the things you can obviously check out is, is some of the reviews. In the case of John, he's got some excellent reviews on, on Avo, on, on Yelp, on Google, on Facebook. Uh, in fact, on uh, Avo, he has a superb rating, so that's something you can check out. Also, he's agreed to answer your questions online, so if you have any questions related to slip and fall, just post them below, or clearly you can reach out to him directly. Um, with that said, John, let me go ahead and ask you the question that was posted. When someone believes they have a, slip and, uh, a case for slip and fall, what information do you need, and what factors go into considering the compensation they deserve? Well, when anyone comes in with a slip and fall case, it's, it's just like almost any other injury case. Uh, we we want to see what the facts are, what the evidence is, and then we can start beginning to evaluate the case. So typically, I'll sit down with a free consultation, we'll go over the location um, of the slip and fall, the facts of how it occurred, um, whether there was any records taken of the incident, so that's something that if, if that individual has um, the actual records of, you know, paramedics maybe coming or maybe just someone in the store, um, their own security coming and making a report or a manager, um, that can be helpful. Any photographs of the scene, of the, the cause of the, the slip, Oftentimes we can try to attempt to get, so it's just building some of this evidence up that um, will kind of help us show the, um, the opposite party what had happened. So if we're presenting this case and, and typically it's to an insurance company and trying to show them how this slip and fall happened, we need to have all this evidence built up. Um, and then from there, um, what were the medical expenses? So if the individual is hurt, has already been getting treated for this, um, it's helpful to have those medical expenses also um, because those can kind of give us an idea of, of where this case is going and, um, you know, what kind of settlement or, uh, you know, negotiations could possibly happen. So generally those are the, the ideas. If, if you have any questions, if you've been in a slip and fall, and, and you're, you have any questions, give me a call, uh, free consultation, I'll go over everything with you. There's no need to um, put any money down. Typically we do contingency fee agreements on these cases where uh, the attorney doesn't get paid until we do the work and actually obtain the settlement. So um, if you do have one of those cases, make sure you contact a qualified attorney. All right, John. Well, it uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, again, if you've been watching the video, you, got, you can also post some questions for him directly, and uh, he will get back to you typically within 20 to 4 to 48 hours. Uh, John, uh, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you.